I'm half tempted or three quarters tempted to say that uh, ha being a man with boobs ha has increased my skills at uh, connecting with people. That's not really a skill. Uh, yeah, I can't. Well, I don't know that I can call it a skill because it is, in a way, like getting rid of writer's block, right? Like getting rid of writer's block is not a skill because you can get rid of writer's block by drinking beer, right? You can get really drunk and lose your writer's block, and all of a sudden you're you're you know you're riding off the storm. Oh, my food's cooking. <laughs> My llama noodles are going to be overcooked. My llama noodles are going to be overcooked. <clears throat> uh, so it's similar to that. It is... I'm going to bug my phone back in. Let's see. Uh, there is a kind of... I was reading a book. Uh, two or three years ago, something about Sufism. It's a book on Sufism. I think it was by Idris Shaw. I think the book is called Sufism. I don't know. I don't know how many books on Sufism I've read. I don't remember which what I read and what books. So, but in this one, I remember in one particular book I remember reading. Uh, about a old Sufi practice. Apparently this is not something they do anymore. Uh, but they call it acquiring blame. <clears throat> Which is a practice. It's like a religious practice. It's like something that you do like on a regular basis. Maybe you do it. I don't know if you do it your entire life. I don't, I don't know if that's necessary. But it, at some point you go out and do things that are socially unacceptable. <clears throat> so the example that was given in the book uh, was like a guy going and sitting on a pile of camel dung <clears throat> in the middle of like a, you know, a market square or uh, where people gather and that sort of thing and just sitting there mm -hmm. you know, on top of this pile of shit. And uh, you might think, what would be the purpose of that? And I hate to, to compare myself having breasts to a man sitting on a pile of shit. Um, but it, for me, it's had a similar... The way the effect is described in the book is similar to what I've experienced. Because the idea in the book is that by doing this, you get over your concern for what people think of you. Right? Because if you look at the way people are when they socialize, very often they're very much concerned with how they appear to other people. <clears throat> right and this of course is one of the things that ruins people's relationships with each other they, they might meet each other and be like oh hi good to see you and, and, it, and it comes across as very fake but it comes also comes across as very much like I want you to have a good opinion of me uh, you know and uh, so I'm going to I'm going to talk to you for as long as I feel like I can hold up this this image. And then it's, and, and, and when I get tired of holding up this image, I'm going to be like, all right, well, it's good to see you. Talk to you later. And. Uh, yeah, so. If you don't care about the image, you know, then it, it does become all of a sudden much more like. You can talk to people without, you know, you can just kind of throw stuff off your hip and just be like, Pfft. you ever watch a mouse? You ever just look at a mouse and be like, what the, f who came up with this idea? Why do they call it a mouse? Well, it kind of looks like a mouse, you know. That was probably not a great example, but the idea there is that, you know, it's not, you know, I'm not like going for the the obvious like this is going to make me look cool 
sort of thing. I do that all the time myself. You know, if I'm talking to customers at work, the very first thing I ask them about it, especially if they're buying stuff for a party, is, you know, is your 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 child is having a birthday. Is that what this is? You you have a son graduating, I see, or something like that. <clears throat> of course, that's not about me looking cool. It's more about, like that's just the obvious, you know, the obvious thing. <clears throat> Sometimes it does come across as very boring. I admit, there was a very handsome man who came into the store today or the day before, and I was, when I looked at him, I was like, holy shit, you know, this guy's good looking. And uh, I looked at what he was buying, and I, I just said, oh, so you're out for a snack. And he was kind of like, mm, yeah, I'm out for a snack. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Maybe I should spend some more time on the shit pile. Uh. Uh. I probably should spend some more time on the shit pile. That's that's another thing from even like living in a bus. You know, it's a similar living in a bus having boobs are they noticeable I think my boobs are noticeable like if I do you think if you saw me as a cashier at a place you think you might be like what is that what is that are those boobs <sighs> There are, there are a few times when I think I'm not trans, but I can't deny that I got a benefit from, from going through this. And I would say that if there is one benefit from going through this, it is that, right? It is that, uh, I don't know how else to put it. I, I talk to girls where I work and I feel so much more laid back now and more just like, I have a I have a better chance to connect with these girls where I work than I've ever had in my life working with people. Uh, it does seem to be that case with girls, not with guys. Uh, I think guys, for the most part, are kind of like, yeah, I don't know if I want to be having long conversations with you, kind of thing. But uh, women certainly seem much more open to it, and I feel like that maybe. There's maybe it could be part of the safety thing. Maybe they they see me as someone who is because I have rest. It just makes me safer. Because um, it's not it's not just them though. You know, it is also I just feel like I can. You know, I, I don't seem to have the same kind of like well I don't know what to say and you know. Yeah. This may be a short video because I was gonna I'm cooking my ramen noodles and now that I'm now that the the water's done boiling I feel like I don't even care about the video anymore I might just upload this and uh, go eat my ramen and fuck this video maybe maybe I'll think of something else to say about it maybe I won't but I guess that's the nature of the thing. <laughs>